breaking news out of Evanston. An agreement to make sure the pro-Palestinian protests on the campus of Northwestern University remain peaceful. The school's president announced the plan late this afternoon, calling it a sustainable and de-escalated path forward while still protecting free expression. Under the agreement, all tents and sound amplifiers will be removed from Deering Meadow immediately. Protesters can continue through June 1st. Northwestern will also reestablish an advisory committee to provide input on the university investments. CBS News' Jared Hill has more on similar demonstrations and demands at colleges around the country. On Columbia University's campus, an ultimatum from university officials for student protesters. Leave now or be suspended. We are staying out here. Thank you. Before the 2 p.m. deadline, students began to march around the encampment, making no effort to clear out. Students are demanding the school divest from Israel due to the ongoing war in Gaza. And I think if Colombia wants to have a peaceful graduation, then there has to be some form of like meeting halfway with the students instead of like threatening with, you know, National Guard and, and the NYPD. It was nearly two weeks ago when Colombia asked police to clear the camp, arresting over 100 protesters and igniting a nationwide movement. Nearly a thousand demonstrators have been arrested on campuses across the country and tensions are rising. At UCLA over the weekend, there were clashes between Palestinian supporters and pro-Israeli activists who say encampments are promoting anti-Semitism and ignoring Hamas-held hostages. Protests against the war have recently spread to campuses around the world, including the Sorbonne in Paris and in Gaza, where an estimated 34,000 people have died. Displaced Palestinians used their tents to send U.S. students a message. Thank you for your support. Jared Hill, CBS News, New York. And the protests on campuses have now spread to the University of Chicago. Today, hundreds of students started an encampment for Gaza on the university's main quad. More than three dozen tents were already set up by noon, which included a library, a media tent, and medical station. The group is demanding the university to divest from companies doing business with Israel or manufacturing weapons. We reached out to the university for comment on the encampment. We've not heard back.